the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness it is far better to take things as they come along with patience and equanimity you are sad because you are wasting your potential you know it your family knows it everyone knows it do something useful if you are sad it's okay to acknowledge your sadness if you have pain that leaves you at a loss it's okay to talk about it the reason we have difficulties is that we are unable to accept the things that can be changed let them be and see what happens clouds release their sadness by crying until they can cry no more when they have no tears left they feel a great weight has been lifted as heavy as the tears they've shed we can release our sadness into the sky within us when we feel sad it's okay to cry like the clouds sadness flies away on the wings of time the sad ones are those who waste their energy in trying to hold it back for they can only feel bitterness in loss and no joy in gain do not be sad about what you do not have instead be happy about what you do have if you will be sad about what you don't have you will not be happy about what you do have when you feel sad it's okay it's not the end of the world everyone has those days when you doubt yourself and when you feel like everything you do sucks but then there's those days when you feel like superman it's just the balance of the world i just try to feel better sometimes we get sad about things and we don't like to tell other people that we are sad about them we like to keep it a secret or sometimes we are sad but we really don't know why we are sad so we say we aren't sad but we really are sad things happen they do but we don't need to live sad forever your sadness is a gift don't reject it don't rush it live it fully and use it as fuel to change and grow there are two types of people in the world those who prefer to be sad among others and those who prefer to be sad alone sadness is silent it is yours it is coming because you are alone it is giving you a chance to go deeper into your aloneness rather than jumping from one shallow happiness to another shallow happiness and wasting your life it is better to use sadness as a means for meditation witness it it is a friend it opens the door of your eternal aloneness sadness gives depth happiness gives height sadness gives roots happiness gives branches happiness is like a tree going into the sky and sadness is like the roots going down into the womb of the earth both are needed and the higher a tree goes the deeper it goes simultaneously the bigger the tree the bigger will be its roots 
in fact it is always in proportion that's its balance happiness is one pole sadness is another blissfulness is one pole misery is another life consists of both and life is richer because of both a life only of blissfulness will have extension but will not have depth a life of only sadness will have depth but will not have extension if you're feeling sad remember soon you will forget and move on with life your grief is transitory if you're going to let go anyway why not do so immediately if you don't cling to your grief you won't suffer life is a river flow with it don't hold on to anything let go behind every sweet smile there is a bitter sadness that no one can ever see and feel experiencing sadness and anger can make you feel more creative and by being creative you can get beyond your pain or negativity